Happy Tuesday, DP. Welcome to your March 22nd edition of DP News. I'm Olivia Devenny. And I'm Ashley Oak signing in. Today we'll be covering architectural winners, Grease Pole winners, Leadership Class 2016 and 17, and more. Thanks for tuning in to DP, DP News. Now over to Anne with the winners of the agricultural competition. Hi, I'm Anne Bailey here with Allison Lernan, Annabelle Vandermulen, Rose Hillebrand. So, Annabelle, tell me what happened over the weekend. Well, um, on Tuesday we had a competition over at Santa Inez for architecture, and we had seven hours to draw a design for a prompt that they gave us at like 8:30 in the morning, and it went till 3:30. And then we got chosen as finalists by some judges, and we went up to. San Inez again on Saturday and we presented our ideas to the judges and then we won first, second, and third place which was pretty awesome for DP. Sweet! So Allison, how did you guys prepare for this? Um, it wasn't so much like a studying form of preparation. One of the judges actually mentioned while we were get, like while he was making comments that it's more that there's um, the ability to perceive 3D and 2D drawings and forms in your mind, and that's kind of an ability that we're born with. And so for me, it was just like doodling little houses and stuff as a kid, and that evolved to being more professional. And we were just using professional tools for the first time, all three of us, at the competition. So it was just playing with the tools and learning, and just, yeah, it was fun. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, Rose, tell me. Uh, what is this design that you guys have here? Um, so we basically had to design a children's museum, and so it had to be really interactive for the kids, and we had to explore uh, the five different senses. Um, so we had different exhibit halls and just kind of design something around that. Awesome! Well, thank you guys for coming in, and congratulations on winning. So I'm Ann Bailey, here with these guys, and setting it back over to Olivia and Ashley right behind us. <laughs> Wow, great job, girls. Juniors, do you see yourself as a leader among your peers? Are you interested in positions such as ASB or Senior Class Office, Activities Commissioner at Large, Public Relations, and many more? If so, come to the mandatory meeting in the EPAC at 7 a.m. sharp this Thursday to be eligible for next year's leadership class. Make sure you get there on time before 7 a.m. because the doors will shut promptly. Sophomores interested in the IB program, this is your last reminder to complete your application and turn it into either Mr. Moran in age 15 or Mr. Sofro in the counseling office before this Friday, March 25th. Don't miss this chance. We'd like to congratulate several Chargers who earned second place in the Division B at the CSULB Math Contest. Big shout out to John Grossen, Paul Grossen, Adam Dutcher, Eloi Gonzalez, Kenyon Prater, and Mark Nevins. Congrats, guys. In other news, International Day is coming soon. Clubs who are interested in being involved must attend a mandatory meeting tomorrow, Wednesday the 23rd, in P2 at lunch. At least one representative from the club must attend. The community service fair is coming up soon, so mark your calendars on April 19th for this exciting opportunity to fulfill the 60 hours to graduate. Last Friday, we watched our seniors scramble the top of a grease pole dressed as frat boys, cats and trees, lifeguards, ninja turtles, clowns, and more. But who made it up the pole the fastest? Hmm. Let's send it over to Anne to find out. Hi, I'm Anne Bailey with the grease pole winners. So, how'd you guys prepare? Um, we did a few practice runs, um, but mostly it was just moral support by our man Peter Apple over here. Um, you know, he really came through with all their moral support, and I'd like to give a shout out to, Ma I mean, Vache Singh. Um, we're really missing him. We moved to Westlake. It's been pretty rough. Cool, well, how about you guys? Um, we actually had one day of practice, which is the day before, for three hours straight. We were never able to get up until the day of Grease Pole, which is really exciting. <laughs> Dang, that's intense. <laughs> what does it feel like to win? It's, it's pretty cool winning because it's something you see from freshman year to your senior year, and you don't get to compete until senior year. And you only have that one chance to try and get up, and so it was pretty cool to actually get up and win. So. Nice, how about you guys? 
Um, we were really shocked, actually, because like Sam said, this was our first time actually being able to get up. So it was really like, exciting and shocking. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for coming and congratulations on winning. I'm Ann Bailey, sending it back over to Olivia and Ashley with the rest of your campus Thanks, news. Sam. Great job, seniors. On that high note, we'd like to let you know that this Friday's activity in the Greek is karaoke. Whether you're practically a pro or your only performance is taking place in the shower, head out to the Greek for a good time. Speaking of lunchtime activities, don't forget to go to the quad near the Greek tomorrow to support the Together to Empower Club and the Bead for Life fundraiser by purchasing bracelets and necklaces and more. The prices range from $6 to $15 and all funds made will be going towards women living in extreme poverty in Africa. And finally, we'd like to remind you that this Friday, March 25th, Santa Barbara City College will be visiting the Career Center from 845 to 1145. They will be giving you info about the enrollment process. So if you have any questions about that application, assessment testing, orientation dates, course registration, and more, make sure to check it out. Remember, bring a pass to, signed by your teacher to verify your attendance. That is all for your campus news. Olivia and Ashley, out of here. Now let's send it over to Peter with sports. I'm Peter here with your sports report. Girls lacrosse had a game at Simi Valley High School yesterday where they won 10-9 in overtime. Jamie Sharp led the offense with five goals and Becca Baxis scored the game winner to get the Chargers the win. Strong defensive performances from Chloe Wells, Tara Van Horn, Carly Holland, Sienna Applebaum and a bunch of clutch saves from Carly Schwann helped the Chargers win the game. The girls are now 5-2 on the season. We had a couple of award winners yesterday at the annual Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable where local collegiate and high school athletes are honored for their achievements. Nova Sinskel was honored as the Athlete of the Week along with, Westmont College, along with a Westmont College baseball player. Nova's two-out walk-off grand slam in the eighth inning broke a 3-3 tie in the game against Alemany, the number seven ranked team in CIF Division III. The victory gave the girl, our girls the number three rank in the Division IV. We also had some athletes on honorable mention like Jamie Sharp in lacrosse and Darby Naughton and Josh Feldhaus in baseball. We have a bunch of games today and all of them are Channel League matchups. Varsity Boys Golf plays rival SB in a home league match at one on our course. Varsity Boys Tennis also plays SB on our courts at three. Varsity Baseball plays at Buena High School at 315 and Varsity Softball also plays Buena but you can go see them on our fields at 330. Varsity Volleyball has a huge match tonight against SB as well at, as well at 6 p.m. in our gym, so be sure to come out and support. That's all, for your, that's all for your sports report. Now over to Nandini with current events. Hey DP, I'm Nandini Braganza with your current events. Late Tuesday morning in Belgium, Brussels, the capital, was attacked. There were two bombings at Zarventine International Airport and another at the metro station. Fourteen were reported dead at the airport and twenty at the metro station, and 170 were wounded. One bomb exploded outside the security checkpoint for ticketed passengers and the other near the check-in counters. Then, around 9.11 a.m. local time, another explosion occurred near the Malabik metro station which is close to the European Union headquarters. Four days ago, authorities captured Europe's most wanted man, Salou Abdeslam, a suspected terrorist. Some suspect this attack was in response to Abdeslam's capture. A U.S. counterterrorism official says the Belgians have been sitting on a ticking time bomb given all those who have gone to Syria and Iraq to join ISIS and then possibly come back. No group has claimed responsibility of the attack, but many ISIS supporters celebrated the bombings. Brussels was placed under lockdown and the airport was evacuated. Thank you for listening. That's all for your current events. Now over to Sarah with the weather. Here today with your weather forecast. Today is looking to be mostly sunny with winds picking up to 12 miles per hour from the west. 
the high today will be 73 degrees with a low of 52 degrees. Pull out those sundresses and hats because tomorrow's temperatures include a high of 77 degrees and a low of 52 degrees. What happens when fog lifts in Southern California? UCLA. That's it for your weather forecast today, DP. Have a great day and we'll see you on Friday. Color and design is a general arts class. By taking it, you will learn the basics and fundamentals of art. Here we do everything from painting to drawing to sculpture. You will learn about design and art basics and also some art history. It's a whole montage of everything art related. Color and design is a really fun class. And I think you're gonna like it. So sign up for Color and Design next year if you want to be an artist.